Hey, I'm gonna make a pitcher. Uh, three and a half pounds, what I call a half gallon. And uh, off we go. Gotta center it first, of course. It's a great video of an old boy in England, George Curtis, making a big flower pot. He uh, does the centering and opens the ball up, and then he makes one call and he said that's when the hard work is, is over. And I agree, but there's a lot of tricky work later on. So I always like to uh, check the base. I have made too many parts with thin bottoms. Take a needle tool, and I can see how thick it is, and that's about right. So, so now I cone it up. And the base on the outside and pick the clay up and thin it as I'm going. Getting the bulk of the clay out there. Keep it good and lubricated and slippery. And then a good long thinning pull. top now I'm really trying to get the base clay out and up and moved do one more pull before I start using my metal rib and this just begins to put in a little bit of the shape all the while thinning but not too thin in the belly you've got to look, kind of leave a little thickness where you know the wide point is going to be another little thickness I like to leave is it right in the, uh, the throat of the neck the nape to make sure that the uh, belly below has some integrity and doesn't start buckling. So now I've got the rib just going really gently, just teasing the inside of the pot out to the rigid metal rib. Keep sweeping it all the way up. Just following the curve up, picking the shoulder up each pull, bring it in, leave that little area a little thicker right way where I was on the nape, slow the wheel down. Put a little false foot in. It helps me grip the pot when I'm dipping in slip. And also if you ever wash it up afterwards and have it upside down, you can pick it up by the foot. Put a good grip on it.
This is the tricky part, just making it nice and full and fat and smooth, generous curve. Not quite done, but I'll uh, sponge it out, make sure that slurry is gone, it's particularly from the belly down. Sometimes the slurry or water will just stay there and cause the uh, that section of the pot to get so wet and soft that it collapses and it's really annoying. some more fiddling of that before I put the handle on. That's pretty good. I like to put a little reading on the neck. got good clay and the right consistency and you made it right you should be able to pick it up without deforming it after you put the lip in of course uh, and then you just take it up and put it down next to the others on the board that's the way you do it